Hi, welcome to the GPAT preparation series 3 test number 18. This test series will be helpful in preparation for the GPAT exam. We wish you all the best. Before we start the test, let us understand the process. So, here is the process. This test consists of 10 questions and you will get 7 seconds to write your answer in the comments. For example, if the answer to question 1 is option B, you can write it in the comments as 1B. Similarly, if the answer to question 2 is option A, you can write it in the comments as 2A. So, the first question is. The structural feature common for propranolol, atenolol, pindolol, metoprolol in the side chain is. Option A, isopropyl amino propen to ol. Option B, dimethyl amino propen to ol. Option C, diethyl amino propen to ol. Option D, dibutyl amino propen to ol. As you know, you have got 7 seconds. If you know the answer, mention it in the comments. The time starts now. The time is over. I hope you got it right. The correct option is A, that is isopropyl amino propen to ol. Now let us quickly move to question number 2. The drug gives positive. Option A, Bontrager test. Option B, Murexide test. Option C, Legal test. Option D, Thaliuquin test. You have got 7 seconds. If you know the answer, mention it in the comments. The time starts now. So, the time is over. Let us see the correct answer. The right option is C, that is legal test. I hope you are participating in the test and writing the answers in the comments. That is awesome. Let us move ahead. So, the next question is. Morphological character with respect to the leaf is. Option A, ovate lanceolate with entire margin. Option B, ovate lanceolate with crenate margin. Option C. Linear lanceolate with serrate margin. Option D. Linear lanceolate with sinuate margin. Mention your answer in the comments. You have got 7 seconds. Let us see the correct answer. The right option is B. That is ovate lanceolate with crenate margin. I hope you are ready to take the next question. Here it is. Group 1. Immunosuppressants. Group 2. Mechanism of action. P. Azathioprine. 1. Destroys proliferating lymphoid cells. Q. Tacrolimus. 2. Prodrug transformed to mercaptopurine, which on further conversion inhibits purine metabolism. R. Glucocorticoids. 3. Inhibits the cytoplasmic phosphatase calcineurin. S. Cyclophosphamid. 4. Interferes with the cell cycle of activated lymphoid cells. Option A. P3, Q2R1, S4. Option B. P2, Q3R4, S1. Option C. P2, Q1, R3, S4. Option D. P4, Q3R2, S1. Mention your answer in the comments. Your time starts now. Let us see the right answer. The right option is B, that is P2, Q3R4, S1. Here is the next question, let us see if you know the answer. Group 1, Synthetic Estrogenic Drug. Group 2, Methods of Synthesis. P, Ethanol Estradiol. 1, 4, 4, Dimethoxy of Benzophenone is treated with 4-methoxybenzoyl chloride plus magnesium. Resulting product is treated with PTS followed by C. L2 plus C, Cl4. Q, dinestrol. 2, dioxinizoin is alkylated and product subjected to Grignard reaction. The resulting tertiary alcohol is dehydrated and demethylated with alcoholic K, O, H. R, chlorotrionizin. 3, bipinacol reduction of p-hydroxypropyphenone and subsequent removal of water. S, stilboestrol. 4, from estrone by the action of potassium acetylide. 
Option A, P4, Q3, R1, S2. Option B, P4, Q1, R3, S2. Option C, P1, Q4, R2, S3. Option D, P3, Q1, R4, S2. Your time starts now. Here is the answer. The right option is A, that is P4, Q3, R1, S2. Few more questions left, let's move ahead and take the challenge. Group 1, Antibiotics. Group 2, Microorganism used in the eye, P. Assay. P. Streptomycin. 1. Bacillus series. Q. Erythromycin. 2. Staphylococcus. R. Gentamicin. 3. Klebsiella pneumoniae. S. Tetracycline. 4. Micrococcus luteus. Option A. P4. Q3 R1 S2. Option B. P3. Q4 R2 S1. Option C. P3. Q2 R3 S4. Option D. P3. Q4 R1 S2. Your time starts now. The right option is B, that is P3, Q4, R2, S1. Few more questions left, let's move ahead and take the challenge. Group 1, Alkaloid. Group 2, Ring System. P, Corneine. 1, Isoquinoline. Q, Pepeverine. 2, Pyridine, Pipridine. R, Anabasine. 3, Yohimbine. S, Rizapine. 4, Pipridine. Option A, P2, Q3, R1, S4. Option B, P4, Q3, R2, S1. Option C, P4, Q1, R2, S3. Option D, P2, Q4, R3, S1. Only 7 seconds left. Post your answer in the comments. The right option is C, that is P4, Q1, R2, S3. Wow, you are participating really well in the test. Let us see if you can answer the next one. Group 1, IR detectors. Group 2, composition. P, thermocouple. 1. Dot oxides of M, N, Co and N, I. Q, pyroelectric detector. 2. Bi SB. R, Goli cells. 3. Xenon. S. Thermistor. 4. Triglycine sulfate. Option A. P4. Q2R3 S1. Option B. P3. Q1R4 S2. Option C. P1. Q3R2 S4. Option D. P2. Q4R3 S1. Your time starts now. I hope you could find the right one. Only 7 seconds left. Post your answer in comments. The right option is D, that is P2, Q4, R3, S1. Here is the next one. Group 1, Tablet Additives. Group 2, Examples. P, Binder. 1, Acacia. Q, Insoluble Lubricant. 2, Light Mineral Oil. R, Film Coating Material. 3, Hydroxyl Cellulose, S, Direct Compression Diluents. 4. Microcrystalline Cellulose Option A. 2P Q13-R4 S Option B. 3P 2-Q1-R4 S Option C. 4P 3-Q2-R1-S Option D. 1P 4-Q3-R2-S Your time starts now. I hope you could find the right one. Only 7 seconds left. Post your answer in the comments. The right option is D, that is 1P, 4-Q3-R2S. Here is the last one. Give it a try. To correct statements concerning vitamin D are P, the active molecule 1, 
25-dihydroxycolcalciferol binds to intracellular receptor proteins. Q. Colcalciferol is found in vegetables. R. 1-25-dihydroxy-D is a potent vitamin D metabolite. S. It is required in the diet of individual exposed to sunlight. Option A. P. S. Option B. P. R. Option C. R. S. Option D. P. Q. Your time starts now. I hope you could find the right one. Only 7 seconds left. Post your answer in comments. The right option is C, that is R, S. Since you participated in all the questions of this GPAC preparation series 3 test number 18, we really appreciate your effort. We wish you all the best for your GPAC preparation. See you soon in the next GPAC preparation series video.